Hey guys, before we get this video started, I just wanna let you know that I'm doing an $8 million shark card giveaway for the brand new Arena War update. I forgot to do this on the first day. I was just so caught up with checking out all the new content and trying to play all the new Arena War modes. So we are gonna be doing this on my Twitter account, which I'll leave a link to in the description. This time we're gonna be doing it a little bit differently though. All I want you to do is just reply to that tweet with what your favorite vehicle is from the Arena War update. So whether that's the Imperator or the Cerebus or the Death Bike, just let me know in a quick comment, maybe let me know why. And also just be sure to tag one of your friends and maybe they can get involved in the giveaway as well. I'll actually be selecting the winner next weekend, so you've got about a week to get involved with this and uh, I'll be announcing the winner over on Twitter as well. And that's it. No retweets, no follows, no anything like that. You can drop a like on the tweet if you want. And I'm doing this as a thank you for all the support that you guys have been showing me on the videos, not only in Red Dead Redemption 2, but of course coming back to GTA Online as well. So I'll leave a link to that in the description. Be sure to check it out after you're done watching this video. Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're gonna be talking about 15 big changes that Rockstar made in Grand Theft Auto Online in the Arena Wars DLC update. So we've got a lot to dive into today, so let's not waste any more time and let's get it started. The first big change Rockstar made is this is one of the first new properties that has multiple mechanics. And that can be kind of confusing not knowing what each mechanic does. So let's break them down. This first guy here, Sasha, I think that's what his name is, he is the arena mechanic. And Sasha is the only mechanic who can make changes and upgrades to your arena vehicles. I'm also pretty sure he comes by default, but I could be wrong. The next one is the Benny's mechanic. Now the Benny's mechanic works very similar to the CEO office garage mechanic who can modify any of your standard or personal vehicles and can also perform Benny's upgrades if available. So it's not connected in any way, shape or form to the arena stuff. And it's not specifically Benny's customization. It can do regular customization too. And then there's the weapon expert. And in my opinion, this guy is kind of worthless. He works very similar to the weapons and vehicle station that you'd find in something like an MOC or an Avenger. Uh, it'll allow you to upgrade Mark II weapons, uh, and it'll also allow you to customize things that could only be customized in an MOC or an Avenger, like a Vigilante or a Deluxe or a Night Shark. However, this guy has nothing to do with the arena weapons or their vehicles. So it is completely unnecessary if you want to take advantage of all the new Arena War stuff. The next big change that Rockstar made is a lot of the upgrades in game are locked behind like this Arena War career pink lock symbol. So one of the disappointing parts about this is even if you decide to buy it before you've unlocked the post Arena War career price, it still will not count as an upgrade that you've unlocked. Meaning there's a chance that if you progress through your Arena War career, you'll unlock something that you've already purchased, which is kind of a waste. So unfortunately it is not dynamic and you just have to sort of get lucky on which upgrade and which discount you get by progressing through your Arena War career. The next thing that's kind of unfortunate is if you name your vehicle, it will only have a custom name if it stays in the Arena Workshop. If you name one of your vehicles and then move it to your office garage or uh, something else like your facility, it will lose its custom name. That's kind of unfortunate because I do love that feature, but I don't love the fact that it has to stay in the Arena Workshop in order to have a name. That's a little bit unfortunate. There's also a few unique vehicles that have some interesting customization options if you bring them to the Arena Workshop instead of where they're normally customized. The first one of those vehicles is the Barrage, which was added in the Doomsday Heist. If you could upgrade the Barrage in the Vehicle Workshop, there's a new upgrade category called Vanity Plate. And instead of it modifying your license plate, it actually puts a Clifford logo on the hood and on the side door panels. That is kind of cool. Typically, you only saw enemies have the Clifford logo, but now you can make your own barrage have its own Clifford styling. And I think that's awesome. You can play around with a lot of different cool colors like black and purple, and it's sort of a secret customization option for the barrage. We'll be talking about another vehicle that gets some secret customization a little bit later. The next big change that Rockstar made is to the Oppressor Mark II. This is actually really funny. They changed the way the Oppressor Mark II lands 
which I think is awesome. So before this update, the Oppressor Mark II, it was really difficult to land this vehicle. Like you couldn't hit Y or triangle to jump off in midair because your character would literally abandon ship, like go overboard on the vehicle. And landing it was really difficult. Now, if you land the vehicle by hitting triangle or Y, it will like automatically descend down and it will give you a nice smooth landing. So that's pretty awesome. And this was always one of the reasons why I would never use the Oppressor Mark II, because I always felt like a dummy trying to land this thing. And now it is so much easier. So thank you, Rockstar, for finally making that change. It's one that is definitely very welcomed. Another vehicle that gets some secret customization in the Arena Workshop is the Insurgent Pickup Custom. This is one of the few normalized vehicles that can actually get Benny's wheels. Now it does look a little bit ridiculous to see this armored insurgent SUV have the Benny style rims on there, but it is kind of a unique look. So if you wanted to create something like that for yourself, you totally can by now bringing your insurgent pickup custom inside of the arena workshop. So that's actually kind of cool. Another thing that's kind of cool is you can combine your vehicle jump and the shunt boost. Now I am terrible at this. Someone I've seen who's really good at this is another YouTuber, Gilly Master. I'll leave his video and channel in the description. And he almost sort of shows you how you can fly by doing it. But I tried my best and I'm just not good. But essentially it requires you to jump with the vehicle if you have vertical jump on and then use the shunt boost which is gonna be hitting square and right bumper at the same time while you twist your vehicle. Again, I'm not very good, but it's something you might not have known you could do. It's just one of the cooler features that Rockstar have added in GTA Online with this update. That shunt boost is awesome to use uh, in the arena mode. Another thing that's cool is you can actually summon the new death bike from your uh, MC menu. Now it's kind of weird. I think Rockstar have it a little bit glitched right now because if you actually request a motorcycle, there's gonna be one that just looks like it's a set of triangle brackets. That's actually your death bike. So it kind of looks like Rockstar forgot to put the name of it there, but if you request it, it will show up just like any other normal motorcycle. So that's something that's pretty cool and something you might not have known about. Another cool change that Rockstar made was to the B11 Strike Force. It now has its own icon on the mini map. So for the longest time, this was one of the few like weaponized vehicles that still would not have an icon if you looked at it on the minimap. It would just be a normal dot. Now that has changed, it has its own icon. So that right there is good news. And now if you are uh, fighting against this jet or you see this icon in free roam, you'll know that it is a B-11 strike force on the hunt. Another cool change Rockstar made to enemy vehicles in Grand Theft Auto Online is you'll now see the health bar over enemy vehicles that you're looking at. That's kind of cool. It's the same way that it works in the Arena War game modes where you can see the health sort of above or below their name. Well, that feature has carried over to Free Roam. So now you'll be able to more easily know when someone you're fighting is close to death and you'll be able to compare them to the health that you have and how many more shots or bullets or missiles it will take to uh, take them out. So that's a pretty cool change right there. I'm glad that Rockstar did that. Another interesting change Rockstar did was making a change to the NPCs in the survival game mode. So I'm not sure how many of you guys play survival anymore, but Rockstar made changes to that for whatever odd reason. Maybe there's a bigger plan that they have something cooked up there, but they changed the NPCs in uh, survival, which is kind of strange. And the final big change we're gonna be talking about today, I wish Rockstar would continue to build off of this because it's something that I think would be a nice quality of life change, and I think it's kind of overlooked, but now if you have over 100 Pegasus vehicles, it will be broken down into two columns for you to choose from, 50 in each. Now, I don't have 100, I only have like 57, so I still have one column. I wish there was a way in which you could sell Pegasus vehicles where you could get rid of some that you don't want, like the uh, custom weapon wheel. We need like a custom Pegasus list where I can only have like the five or 10 that I'm still using on a daily basis. So that is kind of an interesting change and hopefully that means Rockstar will start working on that sometime going forward in the future. 
But anyways, that right there is 15 big changes that Rockstar have made in Grand Theft Auto Online uh, that were added in the Arena Wars update. As always, if you guys have any other tips or tricks that you might find useful, please be sure to let us know in the comments down below. We'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA and Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.